morning or more so good afternoon just got off of work now um and i'm leaving so i have to go to heb though because i need to get toilet paper and some other stuff so i'm gonna try and do that really quick um, and then also look for some ornaments too. I also have to get some other stuff. Hopefully I remember work was okay Work is fine work is what it what it is and what it was I thought I was gonna be late this morning if I'm being quite honest because I woke up at 6 30 and I wanted to I was like on the fence on whether or not I wanted to get Dutch Bros this morning, mainly because, you know, I'm not, I don't want to spend money, but also like I was so tired this morning. I had sort of a headache because I did almost wake up late. Um, but thankfully I was able to get, I was able to get Dutch Bros and then um, I wasn't late. So we love when we're not late. I, it's currently 12, 14. Um, so I am leaving a little bit later than I am supposed to, um, but you know, it is what it is. We had to troubleshoot because we're still trying to get all, all of my stuff set up, like my accounts for work set up, and um, it was just having a little bit of trouble. Star, that's something that we'll have to figure out tomorrow. Tomorrow I am most definitely going to Dutch Bros because they have their last sticker drop of the month, so I absolutely need to go. Um, and yeah, hopefully it's just not super duper crazy, uh, cause I will cry. Like I absolutely will cry, you know? Um, so now I am just going to go to HEB. Um, maybe I'll vlog a little bit while I'm there. And then I have to go home and just start getting ready to do whatever I need to do. I was supposed to do chores yesterday and I did not do that. Um, and so I just feel... I just feel the little bit stressed, just the little, little bit, you know, but it's okay. Um, tomorrow I can probably take a nap if I, it feels so inclined. And so yeah, I will see you guys probably at HEB. Can we appreciate the skin? She's looking, she's looking real glowy. Hi. Um, sorry. I was going to bring you instead of HEB, but to be honest, there were too many people. Sorry. Um, I just got what I needed. All of it is back there. I mean, obviously you can't see it, but I'll do a little haul when I get home. I tried to not get anything too unnecessary um, and just like essentials for the house. Um, and so yeah, tell me why toilet paper has gotten so expensive. Like I got a six pack of toilet paper, like name brand toilet paper for $7. Why, why are they doing that? And then I was gonna get more uh, body wash like the one that I like and it's seven dollars too I'm like what are we doing why why are you calling me broke in every single way possible and then on top of that I was gonna get um the Hawaiian punch like variety of uh, flavor packets it's four dollars for what I'm gonna go home I, I'm gonna go home and I'll see you at the house okay hi I just got home oh I'm tired okay first thing I got this uh, garlic and herb chicken drumsticks. This will be my lunch along with some rice. And then in here, I've got three of these uh, baked dog snacks. They were um, get $3 off 15. So it was really like, what, 12? And then we needed more trash bags. So I got more of those. Popcorn, we're out of popcorn. And then I got liners because I needed some like candy liners and then the cotton rounds I needed those too. And this IKEA bag. Toilet paper, the one that I was just talking about that was seven dollars. Yeah, that toilet paper. These waffle chips, I love those waffle chips. Some Lay Stacks original. We don't have a lot of like snacky snacks, so I was like, let me just get like some salty ones because those are our favorite. <sighs> I got two of these just Maruchan ramens, um, great if I just literally do not want to make fucking shit at all. And then I got a shin ramen because I love spice. That's my shit. I love spicy stuff. I was gonna get spam, but why is spam fucking four dollars again? Four or five dollars? Like, bro, what are we doing? What are we? Why are we taxing on spam? 
that is like a struggle meal why are you taxing on my struggle meal you know uh, I got these two these lemonade little packets I wanted to get the Hawaiian punch variety pack like I had stated but it is four dollars this was only like two and even that is still expensive because this is only 10 packets I'm like what are we doing why are we taxing on fucking water packets I don't get it um so yeah I got these right they're the raspberry flavor got some more rice because I think yeah we're about to be out of rice which I'm gonna put out because I'm gonna make some like I said <clears throat> and then some sriracha because I just realized that we don't have sriracha and then I didn't realize there was a shortage of sriracha so I was like let me get and then they literally had a sign that was like um hoi fong chili sauce uh limit one per person per family I guess um and I was like that's crazy I wonder what happened honestly I have not read up on it because I've completely forgotten about sriracha I love putting sriracha on like my soup like my pho but um other than that I don't really use sriracha on anything so maybe that wasn't like a choice I needed to make especially since I don't get pho all the time but it's a choice I made okay and then in this farmer's dog bag I don't know why I didn't unload this one first because it has all of the cold stuff in it but <clears throat> I got I got a dozen of brown eggs um I don't know if I'll eat four eggs in one week, but we have them just in case. And then these garlic and herb fries. Um, we tried this once and we really liked them, so I got them for us again. I got one of these Hillshire snacking trays. This is also if I just like extra, extra, like I don't want to make anything. <laughs> like literally I just like open it and eat. Like even if I don't want to make like ramen. And then I got a 20 pack of these hash brown patties from H-E-B literally why is it six dollars last I checked it was half that so I'm kind of pissed off why we're why it, prices of everything are just going more and more up I hate inflation but anyway so that's all that I got I'm gonna get out of my work clothes pee because I need to piss um and then start making my lunch if anything like after I pee Hmm. No, I should start. I should prep the prep the rice now, so that way it's like it's like cooking while I'm peeing. Okay, I'm gonna talk to y'all when I have my lunch already good to go. Great, thanks. Okay, here's my lunch. I got um, the garlic and herb chicken drumsticks, and I just made some rice to go with it. So now I'm just gonna eat this, and then probably after start editing um today or yesterday's vlogmas and that'll be it honestly i can't think of like anything else that i need to do today other than chores and i don't know if i really want to like <laughs> show chores because that i don't know if that's like riveting content probably not so i will talk to you guys in just a little bit after i finish eating lunch yeah. Okay, if you're my best friend Wendy, um, click out of the video. I don't know if she is even watching my vlogmas videos, but like, if she is, if you are Wendy, don't be watching this shit, okay? I'm about to reveal what your Christmas present is, and I don't think I'll have enough time to either make or buy you a second Christmas gift which like irks me because like I want to give her a second gift but I don't think I'll have enough time because we are literally six days away from Christmas and I just need it to be done um so as we know I've been obsessed with making these paper stars which by the way all this entire paper bag filled with paper stars which is wild to me because it's like how does this Toy Joy paper bag able to fit over 4,000 paper stars? But that fucking mason jar, that $20 mason jar I bought from Target doesn't? I don't know. But anyway, I am almost done with Wendy's gift. I just need to buy a like display case to put all of it in. And I need to print out pictures um, and wrap it. And that's basically it. Um, 
And if you haven't caught on by now with the way that I mentioned the paper stars and then that paper bag full of paper stars, over 4,000 paper stars, um, Wendy's Christmas gift from me is 5,500 origami paper stars. And you're like, EJ, what, what, what's the significance of 5,500 paper stars? What's the significance of 5,500? Well, I did the math, which it's not very hard. <laughs> Um, Wendy and I have been best friends for over a decade. Um, I think we're coming up on either somewhere between 13 to 15 years. I decided to round up and the number of days in 15 years is 5,500. So in honor of our friendship, I wanted to make her 5,500 paper stars to represent each and every day we've been friends. Um, I got this idea off TikTok, not, well, not the not the uh, gift idea but more so like just the paper stars idea and i think um this has been really helpful for me in terms of keeping concentration and focus um when i'm like needing to do work and stuff because it keeps my hands kind of busy um and on top of that she and i already had agreed even but even like while I was already making this gift that we were going to hand make something for each other for Christmas and this was my gift. So now I am on the home stretch. I have 241 paper stars left to make, which I can knock that out tonight um, and tomorrow technically, but um, I just don't have like a container to hold them all in. That that mason jar was supposed to hold them all, but they it literally could only hold 75% of like that paper bag and that was like a week ago that was like a week or two ago and I I have like more than double of what I had then so I'm feeling a little stressed out um like I said we're coming on the home stretch Christmas is getting super duper close she just texted me today asking when we want to exchange gifts and I told her I'll be honest with you Bessie I am not done yet <laughs> Um, but I am almost done. I just have some last minute things to do. Like I said, um, it might be one of those things where I just have to like speed rush like a glass display case because it's also hard to tell like if it like how big of a container I need to like get to fit all of these in because I thought that mason jar was going to be big enough and it was clearly not enough. And then also I thought that these pickle jars would all three of the pickle jars that I have would be able to fit over 5,000 stars. I don't know. I was I was a bit naive going into this and now that I've seen the amount that I have. So I might, I don't like doing it, but I might just look on Amazon to see if there's something that I could buy um, that I could put the paper stars in. I remember, uh, if you remember, I hung out with her, I think a couple of days ago. Um, I think it was on Sunday. Or I don't know. It was it was one of these days. Like it was recent, and we went to Michael's, and the only things I could find were shadow boxes, and those shadow boxes were really, really, really expensive. Um, and so I'm trying my best to not spend too much because I'm at a place where like I really cannot be spending that much. Um, even though I do have a job, like it, I don't get paid every week like I did at my last job. So I have to wait two weeks every time I get a paycheck. So. I'm really just trying to hold on um, and so I might just have to peruse Amazon. I did look on Facebook Marketplace, could not really find anything. John's been looking at, um, at his work and then I could make a trip to uh, the thrift later on this week uh, to see if I could maybe find something but I highly doubt it. Um, so we'll just have to see. Uh, I might have to prioritize doing Amazon first uh, since that'll, I think, will be the fastest. And then, yeah. And I also have not started editing yesterday's Vlogmas because I am so preoccupied with this stuff right now because there's just so much going on. But after I get settled, I did count out the strips, how many strips I've got left to make. So I think that kind of helps. Um, the process because then I I don't have to just keep making paper stars and not knowing if I'm making the rest of what I need <sighs> now that I know <laughs> I feel like it's just a little less stressful and then maybe then I can probably focus 
on finding like a, th a container to put all of it in as well as you know i i also have to count all of it at the end of it to make sure it is 5500 paper stars because if it's not i'm going to shoot myself in the foot like it's i i'm so stressed she's not gonna like it mainly because like she is the type of person that you know she wants to make sure that if she gets something there's a use for it and although she does like have like trinkets and like display figures and like you know like just uh like decor pieces all around her room like i don't want to give her something that like inevitably she's gonna like donate somewhere um and i don't think she will she's definitely that person that's like i will love whatever you give me because it's from the person and and not like you know what it is specifically i don't think i'm the best with gift giving but i feel like this one I put a lot of thought into it and so I'm really hoping she does like it but I'm all, I, I overthink too way too much so I just need to relax and like just finish this up like I'm already like I'm like 5,000 stars deep like I cannot like just backtrack and try to figure out something new now um, so I'm just crossing my fingers uh, um, probably will go and edit uh, vlogmas in just a second it's hard to like switch switch brains uh from what you were previously doing into a new thing especially when you're so focused on it like i'm so focused on this right now um but i forgot i have to edit vlogmas and then i got lucky because zach i uh, can't stream tonight so i have all that time to focus on other things so yep that's it for now Okay, hi, so it is now 8 p.m. and I want to try this True Lemon Lemonade Raspberry Packets. I'm not, uh, I don't love drinking water, like I'll drink it, but like preferably I like drinking something else. We know this, like you, we've all seen me drink coffee, soda, anything but water. But if I can find something that makes water taste a little bit better, then I'll try it. Uh, okay. So I've got my cup. I'm gonna get some ice. Something I noticed in our freezer is we don't have like a shelf. I forget that sometimes freezers have shelves. Anyway, if this is good, I might have to uh, put it in my water, in my in my Awala bottle. It's this tear here, but I don't believe you. Oh. Honestly, I'm not gonna drink it with a straw, so I'm just gonna stir it in with a spoon like this. It smells like raspberry lemonade, which I like. It's a beautiful pink color. It looks so nice in my little cottage core glass soda cup. Look at the bunny. Okay. Cheers. See, the thing about me and lemonade is I like my lemonade tart. I don't like it too sweet. I don't really like it sweet at all. This, I think, is like a perfect balance. It's also somewhat subtle. So, like, like it is like flavored water. But it's still good. I, I think I might, I think I might put it in my walla. Um, to get me to drink more water. And then also like, also like with regular water, my, the, the ice cubes taste weird. That might just be my Awala, but I don't know. I like it. Um, that's going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.